almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, oh. miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. sense of humor. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Mr. McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Mr. Farland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. You never did tell me where you live. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc Doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. I think Miss Largent told me the same thing. It's excellent to see you today. Howdy, mister. I got stock of them electric belts if you need to lose weight. Thank you. I'm thinking this whole Wild West adventure might have been the wrong. I wish I was dead. Good morning, sir. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Someone back at Giant Mountain Lion nearby, but I don't believe it. Sounds good to me. That mountain of yours is gonna get you in trouble. You can believe it or not, but I actually look even better. Zapatero, Zapatero. 
I wish I could, but I'm married. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> <laughs> the saloon's this way. So who are we looking for? A bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agents prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers in Armadillo spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. The way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. Let's go, Marston. I've been after that son of a bitch for months. God damn it, he's on to us. Get after him! Can't lose that trail, boy. Catch up with me when you can. Yeah. Hey, with him. I don't want to lose him. Walton's as bad as you say he is, why don't we just brief him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. A few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walton's gang's been growing fast. How long is easy money for easy work? Chola Springs, Gap Tooth Bridge, these boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Come on! Whoa! Take cover behind that wagon to your right! Behind the crate, Marcy! Not a bad shot, Mr. Mark.
Let's go. Seven three. Where is he? Let's go. How long you been working for the government, Marston? I don't work for the government. Well, I got a telegram from some federal clowns in Blackwater that says otherwise. Are you some kind of vigilante? You don't look like no government, boy. I guess it's complicated. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight lip son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Wigson folded you up like an empty person last time, if I remember correctly. Give her down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise, I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. To be honest with you, Marston, I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal, neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But well, what does a flannel mouth city boy who never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash came in a wild land. Nearly there. Yeah. the horses here and follow me. Let's go! Stay alert, boys! Be ready, boys. We're probably gonna be out now. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. From you, friend, that's a real compliment. friend. Thank <laughs> you. 
got themselves an army. Yeah, rustling's a profitable business, and they ain't short on willing recruits these days. Why'd a man break his back working 12 hours a day for a rancher who can't afford to pay him? But the rancher can't pay him because those sons of bitches are robbing his cattle. Yep, it's one of them vicious circle things the marshal keeps jawing about. Beat those sons of bitches! We've got to get to that ridge! I can't use watch this up, bitch! Come on, let's take that ridge! What are you waiting for? Do something! I'm gonna beat the lot of you! We should cross paths with the marshal up here. He's been giving them hell on the other side. That marshal of yours sure doesn't seem to mind getting his hands dirty. Oh, he ain't afraid to pull the trigger, all right. And he's been after these rustlers for a long time. He'd tell you he's all about the book, letting the judge decide a man's fate, but he throws out plenty of his own justice, too. I plant you shallow without a reason, boy. More rustlers! Take them down! Too damn close! Was that you or me? I'm gonna kill you! Alright, let's keep pushing forward, boys! This is mighty generous of you, mister. This way! He's on the missile! Thanks, Marshal. 